hey, uh, I made a video when I was 18 to dear 21 year old me and I'm gonna watch it back and reply to it and see what's changed since. Uh, this is gonna be the cringiest video I ever watched because I remember some of the things I said and some of the things I said definitely don't apply to now. Uh, but it's kind of like proof of how much has changed in my life since being 18. Uh, it's a bit nuts, gonna be a bit weird to watch, um, but I'm gonna reply to it today seeing as I am going to be uploading this on my 21st birthday, so woohoo, 21, getting old. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be watching this back, so please bear with me. Okay, so here goes. Hi 21 year old, I'm doing this video because I think it's important to understand your goals, especially when you're about 18, you want to know where you want to be in a couple This is years. so Some cringy. Can we just appreciate the long blonde hair? This was after I'd cut it short, let it grow really long, and then dyed it this weird blonde. It's not, it's not even like, I don't know what this is, but I don't like it. <laughs> I definitely don't miss this hair look. Um, but this is cringy and you could see the light ring in my glasses just like why would you allow this to happen and where are my lips like what <laughs> I don't know if I have lips now but Jesus Christ I feel that I'm for foundation so this is gonna be ah. to 21 year old me so I can reply to this hope, hopefully in a couple of years <sighs> and see if I've achieved the goals that I wanted to achieve because Nothing's better than looking back and oh my gosh, I achieved that goal. Oh god, this Recently, is so cringe. I've lost my goals and oh well, who cares? I like to talk about my goals. <sighs> it's good to have them. It's good to Yes, the well done, 18 year old you. You can't it's talk. Well. Woohoo! Maybe it's just like passing and driving test. It's still do that. good to have something productive to do. So here are a list of some of the things I want you to be doing to your Year old Michaela, oh, God. Well, so anyway, so in three years time you should be a qualified veterinary nurse next right, year. Right, whoa, 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 You should be a qualified veterinary nurse. Now, what my 18 year old self didn't believe was that this job was going to be easy. Like, I knew it was going to be tough, but not the scale that it is. It is very, very difficult. And my 18 year old self wants me to be qualified now no 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 no. your job is difficult girl um and there was no way in hell you could have done this course in two years they sold you a dream um and i'm not qualified yet no but i'm due to qualify next year and i should hopefully qualify next year knowing if my life goes well and that my brain can cope with the difficulty level that i am working at um but you know what you're in a what's it called permanent practice which you wasn't at this point in time and you like it there actually things have changed in that practice sense and you're actually really enjoying it um so yeah i guess you know what i'm gonna ignore this one because my company sold me a dream I was never gonna do this in two years the very first few days as an apprenticeship vet nurse Apprenticeship, apprentice fitness. Now you're better at talking as well because I'm a bit Yeah, I'm better at talking with people now. I'm not so awkward. Um, I'm definitely a lot more confident when it comes to dealing with clients and understanding their needs and not making them hate me basically because <laughs> back then I couldn't even answer a phone. So go me. I did that. I can answer the phones now without feeling so weird about it. I have no idea what I'm talking about right now. Hopefully you're qualified or almost qualified. Can someone's not? It can sometimes take up to three years. It can sometimes be less. So hopefully you've done it within two. But if you haven't, why haven't you? You're useless. Come on. Give Fuck it. you. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you're qualified. Hopefully you're better on YouTube. I'd like to think it would still continue this. I know it's going to be difficult, but you know it's probably has been difficult. Yeah, kid. Um, YouTube has been at the back of my mind for God knows how long. Um, I do like making videos. God, like, I love it, but it's quite um it is tough when you work full time like i work all the fucking time so i really haven't had the chance to make videos i really want to start getting back into making um youtube videos like replying to this now is quite funny um and i think i'm gonna do one for dear 25 year old michaela and see if i reply to that um but this is it's been tough and but i do still like making videos so hopefully in the future i will continue to make videos even if they are every like six months as 
hopefully you somewhere still make me YouTube videos. And if you're not, I hope you still reply to this because yes, here you I am replying. YouTube and say for years, I want you to have at least reply to this video and see where you're at and tell all your ex viewers wherever they may be that you can even have achieved some of these goals. Yeah, it's not 100 subscribers, so you know, good going. Because I know it's quite expensive. So if you pass your driving test and you watch the whole car, maybe a little mini Cooper. <laughs> Well, I've technically moved out of the house that I was in. I'm just living with my nan now. Um, but moving out and getting a car is really expensive. You have got a motorbike though. This is your fourth motorbike that you've had in three years because first one got stolen, second one crashed, third one stolen. This is your fourth. So financially, things are pretty shit at the moment because of bikes and life. But you know what? You like motorbike driving. You don't like driving a car. That's just the way you are. Like. It's nicer to be on a bike, just more free. Um, skipping traffic is fucking ace. So yeah, um, I'm not gonna get a car anytime soon, I don't think. That's beyond me. Can my phone stop vibrating on my foot? It's a bit weird. Um, but yeah, no. Quite cute. Or you've moved out, you've gone and just you've got your own place now, and hopefully you're happier. You because okay, right now you're doing okay. 18 year old self is she's doing alright, she's not as bad as she used to be when she was 13. You're getting there. So hopefully that you're just happier. I don't want you to be sadder. There's no point we want to go, we want to go up and keep going up. Bit of more like Um Happier is complicated only because things have been hard recently. Uh being 18 I was quite naive to what happiness was and who I was. Yeah. I still haven't found who I am yet and that's a weird thing to say at 21 but I'm getting there I definitely feel like more me now than I did back then um I was trying too hard to be someone I wasn't um but I'm getting more into my element of what I like like I get to ha have my own room which helps me express myself I dye my hair still but and I've cut it short again because I actually prefer it um so I'm becoming more me happier yeah you definitely I mean you've been through some shit recently but that's just because of recent months it's not because of uh, ha not happy or such but yeah I hope you're better at makeup because right now you're kind of useless you've only just started using makeup brushes and experimenting with eyeshadows you should have probably done all this when you were 13 18 year old yourself is trying her best you know what you can see right my makeup wasn't that bad then but before that i didn't use makeup at all i'm definitely a lot better at makeup my god i'm so much better i have like a huge makeup collection now i really like makeup like when i go out and stuff as you can see right now i'm not really wearing anything because i'm just chilling and not really doing too much but um i'm definitely a lot better with makeup now than i was then uh like i said in that bit i didn't even know how to use a makeup brush i think i put that eyeshadow on my fingers and like a very small brush but um now i'm a little bit better i would like to say um and i've got like a decay palette so now i'm like proper makeup guru um but yeah you you got there you're still not quite there but you got there from this level <laughs> I don't know if it's gone very well. I think it looks nice. It looks alright. So, hopefully, it's one of the things you've got better at. I assume when you can still be with Ava, and he's the best thing that ever happened to you. You cannot. I want to know what happened. I can't even. I don't think there's anything I can tell you to a fan. I'm just going to cut that. It's the best. Oh, this makes me laugh. I knew this was coming. This is why I was freaking out about watching this back. Uh, yeah, you and Ethan broke up, kid. <laughs> I think the year after I uploaded this video, we broke up. Um, what, what month was this uploaded? August, yeah, literally pretty much a year later. He went to the university and he broke up with you over Facebook. No, it's like me and Ethan are cool now, actually. We've spoken since and we're, we're alright. We're good. I'm not gonna be a dick now because, oh god, this happened like three years ago? No, two. I don't know, a while ago, so I'm over it. Like, shit happens, you're not with Ethan. He didn't ever propose to you. Yeah. I don't know why at 18 I wanted someone to propose to me. I think that's fucking nuts now. Like, looking back, I'm like, Jesus, kid, you're mad. Um, but no, you, you've had a boyfriend since, that didn't work out, so now you're a single Pringle, woohoo! Um, living the single dream, tindering it up, and just doing my own thing now. So no, you don't need a boyfriend. No, nah, we're, doing it on our own now. It's fine. 
Green knows how to do, but if you want it, and if he hasn't, want to know why, go and ask him right now. If he also he I can't even. This is... To to <laughs> back, go and tell him he needs to hire a book of clothes. Hopefully. <laughs> I'd also like to think if you have moved out, you've got yourself some form of hair. Even if it's just a lizard. I did actually have a leopard gecko at one point shared with my ex. Gross. That, um, yeah. Aww. Yes, he did. Oh, God. Ah, alright, stop. Um, that's the roundup of that. Uh, to conclude, um, things have changed a lot since this video. Um, my mental health has been very up and down over the past few years since that video was uploaded uh, but I'm very much a different person and you know what I'm happier in the person I am now I mean I'm definitely not perfect I've still got some things to learn and some things to do in my life um, before I would say I'm content with my life um, mainly qualifying as a veterinary nurse is my main dream still um which is i'm happy to say because i could have quit um some shit has happened at, over my life in my career and i really could have quit um but i didn't i stuck it out which is one thing i am proud of for doing um so my life is different which is probably good um i was very much smiling a lot throughout the video when i probably wanted to cry inside uh, but I'm very much more honest with myself into what I want and I'm starting to try and treat myself better um, it hasn't always been easy but I'm definitely on a level now where I want to be better as a person um, for me not for anyone else because back then and even up until a couple of months ago I was always with somebody I always had a partner like I went from Ethan to Dylan quite quickly and I was always trying to impress other people and do things for other people and get better for other people when in reality I need to be better for myself and no one else because at the end of the day I'm the only one that truly knows me as such so yeah that that concludes that video it was really weird to watch and you can see the difference in face now and how baby face I look then um but yeah I'm ending this because I'm cringing so hard uh see you later bye